Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. I think you all can tell how excited I am about today. <laughs> she needs no introduction. Tracy from Plaid and Poppies. Thank you. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So we are on the Proven Winners uh, Creators Retreat through Spring Meadow Nursery. Tracy has been here. We actually did a whole tour of your garden today with everybody. Amazing. And then I asked and I said, Tracy, can I do a video <laughs> after? And she said, yes. Absolutely. So thank you so much. Absolutely. So excited. And I'm so excited that we get to see this, you know, like for me to see it in person is your color. It's, it's, oh, it's like candy you. for the eyes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. That's always the goal. Right? Yeah. Right? The brighter, the better. The brighter, the better. Right. So let me turn the camera around and we will, we'll start out in the front garden and then we'll go to the back garden. <laughs> okay, okay ma'am look at how beautiful <laughs> this is so thank how, you tell us about your, your house how long ago did you guys we built it it'll be seven years now seven? in august oh which seems goodness. crazy it seems like it's brand new i know inside it, it smells like a brand new oh, home thank you. <laughs> it doesn't to me no more but oh it smells oh, brand new it's it beautiful. was it was exciting to actually start with like a blank canvas honestly i had never done it before we've always bought older homes did you have plans so, for this? Did we did have plans. Um, and then with the gardens though, like I did just have a landscape. The people that did like our driveway and our patio, mm -hmm. he was so funny. He just kind of walked around with me and you know how they use that paint gun yes, thing? Yes. And so he's just like, oh, okay, we'll do a little here. And then I'll be like bigger, <laughs> you know? So um, I need more room for yes, plans. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, and I was just excited to have a blank canvas. It's beautiful, Tracy. So they it, put in all the trees and and then I took it from there because okay. I was like, let me just slowly do this, right? They did a good job on your trees yeah. because, you know, there's like the blue ones, the green. I mean, I don't know the yes, names of these right? trees, but they did a very, very good job. And I love your lawn. How is your lawn so green? <gasps> From California, you always they always wonder that, right? How we actually you? get rain. You no. did. We I, actually thought it was gonna rain today, we did. right? We're so blessed that it Thank didn't goodness. yet. Oh, I thought but, this was, I was like, you know yes. what? I'll walk around with an umbrella. I know, whatever it takes. I do have it all irrigated though. You it do. It's all irrigated and for just course, in case. Here we have wells and so we're not quite as limited as you guys in yeah. the water, so yeah. it doesn't matter. But um, even in my boxes in my um, my beds are all drips. Okay. And then in all my containers, I just learned how to, you know, hook it into the drip. Good and for like, you. Yeah. Yeah. So. so then you don't have to worry about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Hands off. Best ever. Okay. So I've been waiting to ask you the okay. color of your door. Oh, yes. Tell us about the color of your door. Oh my gosh. Door. That is probably my number one question. Is on it? <laughs> it is Split P. Split by Benjamin Moore. And what? Yeah. What was the? You, did you always know you wanted to split? I did. Doors? I had no idea. Oh my goodness! I don't know. I just it's, seen it in the paint deck and thought, yeah. "Yep, that's what's going to be." The I think. color. I that's the color. color. So. so tell us about how you decide on colors. Like, is there a certain palette you like to stick with? As I like all the colors, Janie. Just. Every color, if there's a color, just give it to me. No judgment. No judgment. Well, we can see your beautiful dress. I, you like right? all colors. Yeah. <laughs> but I think you are the best at combining colors. Oh, I don't know how you do it. You, you know, um, in my front garden, I have uh, Super Tunia Vista Scarlet and Super Tunia Vista Ultramarine. And that was inspired by you. Oh, Purple fine. mixed with red. Yes. <laughs> I had oh, to do it. Purple with S orange and reds are it's, so fun. It's gorgeous. Yellow, yeah. So it's what? Good. Tell, what do you call this? This is just your front so bed? This is, I call this my good morning garden because oh. when I walk out the front door, the, the sun's always coming up right there and Aww. this is what I see first. So it's beautiful. This is my good morning garden. And last year I had all Black Eyed Seasons in here and they just did not, they get that black spot. Mm -hmm. So we switched them all out to the Heliopsis, which are doing amazing. This one's doing a little bit better. And if you've not grown these, like they just bloom for so long. Really? They do. And if you did, had them even longer. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so they vibrant. They so show. pretty. They show and then good. these, which ones are these? Just Shasta this is, this is just a sh the Becky. Oh, yep. cute. Looks just so the Becky good. Shastas and Very pretty. Yeah. Let's talk about your window boxes. Oh, yes. Winterbugs are my favorite. 
Right. Honestly, you, it's like creating out of a box of crayons, yes. right? You just. So this one over here. This one is my most toughest because it just gets all shade. So oh, okay. I do have to work on. Um, yeah. Do you come out and do you trim one. your window boxes? <laughs> I don't usually have to trim them. Oh, no, nope, not at amazing. all. This will grow. This can grow like three feet down though by the end. So sometimes I'll trim that. What is this one? This is called the trailing red Mizzou. Oh, and it's kind of a succulent, but oh, they're just, they will grow in anything like drought, wet. I'll have to try that one. They I don't do know so that good. one. And then Broalia? That is Broalia. Yeah, I can never say that either. Broalia, I, I think. Yeah. yeah, and that's one. Of, this is my first year growing that. Don't you love that blue color? It's beautiful. It's just so vibrant. It I love so it. It is so pretty. And they like shade. They do? Yes. Oh my so goodness. So this is solid shade. So this this one never does as good as that box over there. Okay. Oh, that I didn't box, even notice this. That one gets a little bit more sun. <laughs> Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> Only you would have this beautiful right? window box around the corner. This is right outside my bathroom window, so it's oh. kind of fun to see. Is that is that <laughs> Selenia apricot? It isn't. Um, I think that, well, maybe, I think this one is okay. from here. It's a little paler. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Very pretty. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right. You so show us fun. around. All right. And the window boxes that for the sun, they're even funner because you can do all the bright colors. So oh, yes. I have two of those. Do you mind if I step down No, here? go right ahead. Oh, you did good. <laughs> See this? Your purple mixed with red. That's yes. my inspiration. Isn't that a fun combo? Mm -hmm. Little bee. Yeah. You have pollinators <laughs> all over your garden, which is I fantastic. I sure do. So what is your favorite annual? My favorite annual would have to be a zinnia. Oh. It would, I, it should be a proven winner, right? No, you <laughs> can't help what your favorite zinnias is. Zinnias are my favorite. You can't help. And they think it's their favorite color. You, like, right? yes. <laughs> yeah. And your it's zinnias are, are really pretty. Thank I can't you. wait to show everybody in the back. So, Spoiler alert, I've already seen the whole garden. Right. I've walked around for a you couple have. hours, but it's, it's, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you. It's so fun to share with people that love it. And we have catmint. Yes, that's a big Very one. Pretty. And what's this guy? This, um, oh, it is a blue, I, want, I don't remember if they call it like a blue globe or okay. something like that. Okay. It's very it's just pretty. A spruce that's blue. It's pretty. See, we don't have things like that in California. Okay. So I'm you like, get more what like is the cacti that? and the <laughs> what is that big thing? succulents, oh, look right? Who we have. There's Gracie. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> she has been so polite all day. She has. People wanted to take pictures of her and she just <laughs> let us. She, she just so poses, cool. right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so this is where we had lunch. It was very yes. sweet. You were going to have it out in the field. I know. We wanted it in the yard, and then we had heard rain. Yeah. So there was there was a, forecast for rain, like yeah, heavy, like heavy almost rain. an inch, right? I know. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, my gosh. We lucked out we so are much. So blessed. Okay. <laughs> Ready for the good stuff? <laughs> right. Go ahead. All right. We'll follow you. Another window box. Now, this one's actually fun because it does get more um, late afternoon sun. Okay. So I can do some sun in there, but I mm -hmm. usually end up just doing like the coleus or the begonias mm -hmm. or something that can do either. Yeah. And don't mind. So they do oh, pretty good there. So pretty. And then, okay, let me show everybody right. another overview. You guys, this is, um, look at this. Now, I'm sure you've <laughs> all seen this on Tracy's Instagram, her little morning walkabouts. But yes. Oh, my gosh. Being here is better. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm good. Gonna brag. Being here is That's better. That's good to hear. This is stunning, Tracy. Thank you. This is stunning. Thank you so much. Okay, so talk mm -hmm. us through. This is the workshop. Mm hmm. This is, well, not the workshop, my hubby's barn. Okay, hubby's so, barn. Yep. And the then, greenhouse. Yeah, we hooked <gasps> the greenhouse to the barn because then I could get heat. You have heat in the greenhouse yeah, heat and in the greenhouse. air in the greenhouse. And yes, only through the barn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the heat is on its own, but not the air. Oh, so. And then the pool house over there, which yes. is my favorite. Pool house with a little, little kind of like a little dollhouse, right? Jesus, so it's, <laughs> it's so, so cute. pretty. <laughs> Hi, and fun. then over there, we'll get over to the pool and everything. So tell us about hey. this little pathway here. Isn't this fun? I don't even know. the. So the guy that did all the patios, mm -hmm. he just created a little walkway with the stones. And um, I call it my pretty path. I don't know. I just it, love to plant annuals along it yeah. because there's just small spaces. And that, then yeah. you can just kind of create little... 
You vignettes of color. <laughs> what are what are these petunias here? These are the giant pinks. They're the proven winner, oh. and it's literally called giant pink. Yep, I've seen them on the website, mm -hmm. but I've never thought about Aren't they getting... huge. Look at how look at how you combine the red I and the know, pink. The red oh, and the pink. So good. Always a fun combo too. It is so good. And here's your favorite, your yep. zinnias. My zinnias. These are the Dreamland mix, so they stay a little bit shorter, okay. but they always get. Uh, Every color. Look so at this. So fun. Look at this one. <laughs> Isn't that sharp? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Mm. It is so pretty. Is this it denim is. and lace? It Russian is. Sage? Yes, Gosh. they love it here. So I just planted the ones behind you because I was like, all right, you like it here. We'll go with that. This is a happy spot mm -hmm. for you. Happy spot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. So yes, and the little pretty path just leads us right to the back patios and porches. Now we were there was bees all over this bee balm. Oh, I bet. Oh, <laughs> look at that huge one. Oh, look right there as I was talking. Look at that. <laughs> it's he's happy. Happy little bee. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Tracy, this is good. Thank so you. I was looking at this garden bed for inspiration for my California garden. That's my butterfly garden. It's perfect. Thank you. It's so Isn't perfect. It? And it's perfect Freaking because orange. I can pick it up and I can put it in my garden. <laughs> Yay! Really? Yes. You grow all that stuff? All of this stuff. So you stuff. can grow butterfly weed. We can we can grow butterfly oh, weed. We can grow buddleia. Yeah. We can grow kufia. We can grow mm. fan flower. Here's the this is the new land, Jana. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Rudbeckia. Yes. Chastity. I literally can grow all of these. Awesome. So there you go. I'm really sorry that I have to copy you. Yeah. But <laughs> you can. It's you so can. Pretty. I love that. That's what it's all about, right? Yes. Yeah. So do you get a lot of butterflies here? I do. I get a lot of butterflies here. Do you um, get monarchs? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Yep. Look, look at it in the crack. I know. <laughs> Isn't that so cute when they pop up like that? Little oh, volunteers. It's so sweet. You had the butterfly weed over here. <laughs> I think you had one. Oh, right here. Yep. More there. It kind of recedes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Did you grow the butterfly weed? In? That's not proven winners, right? It's not. What is it? Or from seed? Um, no, I don't know. You okay. can just get it anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. Crazy. Are you happy? Say hi. Happy. <laughs> Are you happy? She's like, girl? oh. You gotta talk to me. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you want to be on camera, yeah. don't you? <laughs> Why, sure. So you get a smile. <laughs> all right, and I wanted to show over here because I talk about surefire rose begonia all the time. Oh yes. Because sun, fine. Shade, Shade fine. fine. Doesn't Anywhere. Even matter. It doesn't it's matter. It's drought tolerant. I it's know. like, it, isn't it the best? I didn't realize how good this plant was, I... and it is. Fantastic. I'm trying Surefire White it. next year. Oh, I know that's new. I've decided like that is definitely on my list for next year, right? Surefire White. I literally order like almost a hundred of them. Do you? I just put them everywhere because they're just no fail. It looks good. Yeah. It looks really good. And I like the red with the purple. Yes. You did good. Always good together. Do you know the names of these Rudbeckias? Um, they're just a Gloriosa Daisy and I want to say like a Denver Daisy. Okay. Is, if I had to say. Okay. Because I know I've bought that before. That's what's receded. But when it recedes, you don't know how it's going to come up because all these have receded on their own. Oh my Even goodness. Even all that. Like I didn't plant them there. What? And didn't they come up perfectly? I was gonna say, <laughs> how they're do, like, boom, how do boom, plants boom. recede in the right, right here? Spot? I think it's, it's like a corner and it's warm right okay. there. All like, right. but um, it these, looks, Tracy, it looks like you planted I it. No, I did not. I promise, <laughs> I did not plant it there. Oh my goodness! Isn't that something? <laughs> what is this tree right here? <laughs> this is called a birch magical globe. I want to say. Okay. I could see that. It's pretty yep. globe. It's yep. very pretty. And then Thank these uh, beautiful hydrangeas. These are the little quick fires. Oh, pretty. So they kind of just stay the four or five foot. Oh, is this the little estralita? And I don't know what that is. If you know, let me know. I'm, because <laughs> it looks like estralita little star. Did you get it from Walters? No. Or um, Spring Meadow? I don't remember where I got okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know what it is because everybody asks me. It yeah. just keeps ground cover, and obviously it's ground cover. It just keeps it's going. Doing, I bet the butterflies love that one. They do. And Here. the hummingbirds, you can see that little tiny, yeah. Yeah, right? If anyone it's can like identify that, please let us know. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> right away. Absolutely. Oh, and I know your grands love coming out here and Oh, the they do. Yep. Oh, my. It's Lucky kids, definitely right? a good a good way to get your kids to come home, right? <laughs> yes. And they live pretty close, right? <laughs> they do. They all live pretty close. Aww. Yeah. 
So we have Bordeaux. So, yep. And then which ones are these? This one is supposed to be the, sun, the Saturn's incredible, but oh. it doesn't appear to be working. Really? And I asked about it and they said there there is a problem with it. So, okay. cause All they're right. not getting that center. Yeah, right? And they're not getting very big. Hmm. And I didn't know if it was something I was doing, like if it was a yeah. bug or I know, you a never know. bird or. You know, you get something and you're like, that's yeah, not, it's what, not it's what it's supposed, it's supposed to, to look, look like. like. Yeah. Can we show so, everyone your fairy garden? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> so cute, right? we have a fairy garden at our house. Yes, I oh heard. I love that goodness. story so much. Um, so everybody, the story I was telling Tracy is all the kids in the neighborhood love playing with it. Can you imagine so if we did this? <laughs> <laughs> What gave it's you the like idea a, with the bench? I put, well, I, I had bought um, some of the items because my granddaughter had turned four at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, oh, we're going to make a fairy garden. And I kept thinking I want to make it in something that I could take in and out of the greenhouse. Oh, okay. And so then I just had this bench sitting here. And you know, you put cushions on it outside mm -hmm. and they end up getting yucky. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden it just dawned on me like, we just need to make it into a fairy garden. So my hubby kind of made a bottom out of just like Sintra plastic, a hard plastic. Okay. And then, um, um, we put the wire around it and then put the moss around it and then it held dirt mm. but obviously it drains because it just comes right out there right so um yeah Is it works amazing this now this year I did more of these primroses because they're more succulent like and they don't mm. need water as much because this isn't irrigated it gets overhead but not enough oh, like okay. it will do okay for a few days and all yeah. of a sudden I look out and I go <laughs> something needs to happen with that yeah but it's, it looks really this good got, I put little fairy lights you know oh, on um, solar so I had night it's just bright oh, and so my lit my granddaughter's Layton and we call her ladybug so that's oh, kind of the oh I love it <laughs> I can just imagine her kneeling here yeah you know I'm playing with it oh that must be so fun they love it and then you have Hakana Chloe here. oh don't you love that I love it's it just, so much just pops so my dog eats Hakana Chloa. I don't think it's toxic for dogs or anything okay. like that, but it's funny to see this and then see know. Gracie yeah. running around. I know. I can't plant Hakana Chloa in my backyard. Oh, wow. I, I wish I could, but I can't, and it's so pretty. So, a little tip though, like, um, I'm trying to think, I think the rock is right back here. Okay, mm. see this little rock. So, her invisible fence. <gasps> That um, goes our whole property line, so she okay. has a lot of places to go. Yeah. But then you can get rocks, and then they they can outline any area. What? So I have six rocks, and they outline every garden. What? So she doesn't even <laughs> touch wood chips. She's just she's, like, oh, can't go in wood chips. <laughs> she's just learned. Yeah. And she's she's one, right? She's one. So yeah. Oh, look at her. Yeah. Like, so obviously about... over there she can touch wood chips, but like nothing with the gardens in oh, them. My now my goodness. raised beds, I've always let her go in, and okay. I think I'm gonna change that too because yeah. she digs in there. Does she? <laughs> oh, you're so smart. But yeah. So you that are works so, so smart. Good, but yeah. All right, where should we go now? I know, what should we do? Let's, um, let's, let's go, go back over by to the your, um, greenhouse. Yeah. Okay. Stop by the pool house, the door. Okay. <laughs> Another, <laughs> Another <feet>. photo op. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at how pretty you guys and must now, have them. So this is really fun when all the limelight, so behind there, the limelights are, um, they just are just gorgeous when they're amazing. blooming and they <laughs> I bet it's incredible. they glow at night. They yeah. literally just glow. Yeah, so I bet it's fun. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. And then you have these perfect pots. Can we run over and look yes, at them really fast? Absolutely. I know we can't look at every single plot in the garden, but <laughs> <laughs> these are so good because they're just they're just everything. <laughs> you know what I called them this year? I said, this is my box of Skittles. Yes! I oh, couldn't yes. decide. I was like, do yes. I do like, oh, purple, purple, yellow, yellow. And I'm like, no, I had to have them all. So I had to have every color. <laughs> do you do you even think about it? Do you think about coordinating the I colors? I do. Okay. I do, but not as much as you, like some people, yeah. if they're going to do like a whole coordinated basket. Yeah. I pretty much called it my box of Skittles this year. <laughs> so what it, what goes through your thought process when you're thinking about bright colors to put them together? Um, do you have any rules that you kind of avoid or you kind of no. just know what you like? You're just so creative. I it just know. comes naturally to you. <laughs> and I just hate you for it. Oh, <laughs> brother. You have the same, girl. <laughs> it is so 
so well, pretty. Thank you. And you just naturally are like, yes, I'm going to put red it's with just, orange, with purple, with I pink. I am. <laughs> <laughs> put it all in there. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to get over here. You get right in front of the door. Oh, yes. Oh, the pool are house. you so proud of this? <laughs> this was actually so fun. I don't even know what made me think of it, but I was just like, that's just got to happen. It's, um, it's and a, so I'll it's iconic. Yeah. Right. So I'll give you a little um, tidbit. This just happened to the Poppy Cottage today. It did? It did. I said, oh it's, my kind God. Of, it's kind of my signature look now. So It really is. It really Nobody is. Nobody else knows yet. Thank you. I so, think that's, we should feel so, so special. So three of the doors have is the, it black the black and white. white? Right. Oh my god! Yeah, I love it so much. So fun, right? So my <laughs> my first time finding you on Instagram uh -huh. was a picture of you in front of this. Okay. And it stopped me in my tracks. And oh. I was like, Well, who's that girl? <laughs> Who is that? And then of course the deep dive, and then it's like, Oh, prune winners. <laughs> uh, yeah. And and now here I am. Here you are. I'm so glad. <laughs> so this, this, this is Tracy. This, this is flat and yep. poppies to me. So I'm so happy to hear that it's in the well, cottage. Yes, I'm so I exciting. know. It just kind of felt like, oh, let's carry that on. Right? Yes, so, you have to. Yes. Gracie, don't you agree? <laughs> does Gracie like? Has she been in the cottage? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. And she likes it. She does. She's a little bit apprehensive about neighbors. Oh, okay. Because she doesn't ever have them in winter at the cabin it's or here. Funny. So was... people come out of their houses. She's like barking at them, and we're like. You know, they can be there. <laughs> That's their house. It's okay. That's okay. So, Canna's. <laughs> Canna's. How fun is that? And Hannah's? I'll tell you why. So, this area for me get, is so wet. Because and of the it's over... the only one that gets overhead because there's so many curves. Uh huh. So, it just gets overhead watering. Oh, so, there's yeah. no way to avoid that. Right. But, um, yeah. So, I kind of asked my favorite little garden center lady. Yeah. What can I do in here? And she said, and it's Tana's. clay. And so it just sits oh. in water. And yeah. So have they you like ever tried it. like hibiscus, summer fig hibiscus? I know. I, I do have some over there, but I haven't tried it in here, but that could totally work. They don't mind wet. I think of them as more of a yes. boggy type plant, you know, because my parents, they have a same problem. They have overspray yep. and we put some Riffic hibiscus in theirs and it's it does really good. Oh yeah. But now we're going to do this next year. Yeah. And of course the Surefire, the surefire. begonias. I they, mean, they do good everywhere. Goodness. <laughs> They're just the best plants. They sure are. Oh, so these, what kind of one. trees are these? These are the river birch. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. They are They're a good so one. Cool. They also don't mind it wet. Right. So like in the clay right. soil. Yeah. Um, they so do you guys pretty are, good. are totally clay. No, we just have area so I think because we built it seems like they you know they like take yeah. dirt back yeah. and then they put yeah. it back or whatever and it just seems like I wish I would have known right and said take it all away yes <laughs> just give yes. me good stuff but it's yeah so there's a lot of sand like around the house because right. of course your foundation yeah has the sand and then but um yeah. yeah so it's a little bit different here and there and everywhere oh that must be tough i'm sure eventually you'll it. get you like oh, yeah that's my clay area oh because you do you have areas like this hill there going down to the barn mm -hmm. i just have the worst time because there again it gets all overhead oh. and it's all clay really so you're like is that going to be too yeah it's what's gonna, gonna well it looks beautiful gonna right grow now there <laughs> it looks good thank you can we go in the so, greenhouse yes oh, absolutely so pretty okay hold the on the to tour okay did you make this i did not did you buy it mm -hmm. where'd you buy it from i got it from cherry valley oh and My then you lady. have clematis on it? I don't, I have, yes, that's the Stand By Me, it's the bush clematis. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, isn't that it's great? It's so good, and I love that you left your alliums up. I know. I yeah. love it. So often I paint them, I just didn't get around to it. Do you paint yeah, them? Yeah, I paint them the same color they are, and if you do it before they dry completely, yeah. you will never know. Like, I just tear like a paper plate and put it around the base, oh, like, and I spray what? them on. I've and heard I've, people tell me that, oh, yeah. and I thought they were joking. No. I literally <laughs> will have people say, like, my aliens have been done for a long time. How do you do and that? And I'll be like, mine too. Oh They're just <laughs> I'm totally doing that next year. <laughs> no, and I just kept kept them there thinking, like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I never did. But they're pretty like that. But they like look that. so fun no matter they what, look, don't it's they? It's just a different color. Yeah. All the colors, right? Yeah, exactly right. So, and then what kind of rose is over? This this was the blaze. It's a red one. Oh, and then this one is um, pink and Eden. Oh, yes. I and love they're it. 
I asked Ambrose because I'm like, what's going on? He's he's a rose guy. He yeah. Goes, yeah, you have um, I can't remember what he called it. Something fly. Oh, to eat the holes. Yeah. We'll have so to that's ask not him fun. Again. So I gotta spray it. Did did he he told you what to do? Yeah. Spray okay. with bonite. So <laughs> she's talking about um, garden obsessions. Yeah. Ambrose, he was here. Yeah. He is very knowledgeable with roses uh-huh. and hostas. Did you talk to him oh, about hostas? Oh, I did. not Yeah. He okay. knows a lot about hostas too. Oh, that's good to know. All right, yeah. can you take us in the so greenhouse? Yes, come on in. Not much oh. happened in the greenhouse right now because it's always right. so hot. But, but this is where I live in the spring, in the winter, in the fall. Okay, <laughs> can you tell us about that? Fun. So this is kind of <laughs> crazy, but we were at the cat cabin and there was this tree and I'm just like, oh, those branches are so fun because they're, you know, just multiple. Multiple. All over the place. Yeah. yeah. And um, so I ended up saying, could we take some of those down and like put them in the in the ceiling of the greenhouse? And Clay's just of course. looking at me like, uh, <laughs> why? And I'm like, oh, you could do so many fun things. And honestly, like this was for spring and I never took it down, but I have the coolest like red leaves that I always put up. And I've even done like real bittersweet in the fall where oh I can God. find it growing wild and oh. I just shove it all in there and it just hangs and it it's just so pretty so good. it had been um and then and for christmas you did christmas, the i just do um or no i think i did berries don't i have berries up there now i don't remember what i put up there at christmas but i always so put a good. tree out here at christmas a christmas oh, tree of course of course and um oh it's just fun. so good it's yes. just so good <laughs> thank what you what kind of fern is this do you know oh it's a, one of those newer like what do they call it that they're so big. Right. Aren't they fun? I've the, had it for a couple of years. Have you? I never even take it out. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't mind it in here. So oh, I can't get over this. This is so good. <laughs> this is another one of your, um, Thank you. well, you know, like your trademarks. You know what I mean? What's like, that? This. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can stop the ceiling. This is, this, this is so good. The branches up there. and It's just a fun, what a fun look, right? Idea. It brings coziness or something. Oh, so this is this is your hangout spot in the winter. Oh, it sure is. You were I saying that you basically sun's live so in bad. Here. And yeah. so I get it this way. Oh. Um, well, as much as Michigan gets sun in the summer. <laughs> in the winter. In I mean. the winter. Yeah. Yes. But even, you know, when it's not sunny, it's bright in here. Yes. And so it does help you to not get that. Yeah. Gray. <laughs> well, I, I heard that if you even have to squint a little, a little bit, bit, it signals your brain to, that you're you getting know. sunshine. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. So yeah. th- I think that there's enough, you know, there's enough light in here that yes. even, even on a cloudy day like today, it's, it still, it's still bright. It it's sure beautiful. does. Thank you so much. Oh, Gracie, <laughs> you're being so good. She you're being is. You're so just good. following us around, girl. All right, <laughs> this beautiful oh, garden. The raised beds, they've oh, been fun. It's so good. What is over the arches? Right now, all I have is the um, morning glory. Okay. And then I plopped a few seeds in the ground. I think they were called scarlet bean or something. Huh. Aren't those cute little oh, orange ones so fun? Cute. And then the morning glory is Grandpa Ah, which is the oh, I see one right there, bright purple. And the other day it had so many, but of course you know. Me, yeah, of course when everybody purple and knows. orange. Yeah, so <laughs> fun. purple and orange. Yes, great. Yes. <laughs> oh, and these are your zinnias. Yes, these are different this is though. These are the whirligigs. So whirligigs. They're a cacti- form of a cactus zinnia. Oh, so good. And then we have the um, scavola. Scavola. Yep. So good. Look at now. This mm-hmm. one was Dana. new to me. This I was Cleom, right? Yeah, right. And this is a, a fine sterile one, one right? yes, from proven winners. From proven yes. winners, so it is... won't like recede all over. Yeah, because the old one did. Oh, yeah, right, It'd be everywhere, right? So, this is going yeah. in my garden next year. Yes, so, thank you for the inspiration. Yes. <laughs> And then over here, these are more of the Gloriosa daisies, but this one is called Prairie Sun. Oh, it's beautiful. Don't you love that center that's just darker yep. on there? I've, I've grown this one before. Sun. Okay. Yeah, I've grown that one and loved it. it I do too. It lasted so long. It does, and it doesn't get all the yucky. Yeah. I think some of the other ones get so yucky in the bottom. Right, right. And then you have red verbena. I do. I always, oh, I love red verbena, especially as a trailer just to kind of cover right. up the bed. You see these colors? That, like, right? would you ever just... think to put that together? <laughs> <laughs> but you do it, and it looks so good. It's just color. <laughs> just color. Just, you, can't, just... you can't really go wrong, right? Right. Now, what flocks? <laughs> do you know the name? Yeah, those are the um, opalescent. Oh, 
pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Oh, I think it's that opening act. I don't remember what series, but the opalescence, this one is has become my favorite. And okay. I'm actually not a huge pink girl. Yeah. But this one, for some reason, it's the stems are super strong. Okay. It has made it through so many storms. They don't fall over. They bloom forever and then they bloom a second time. I mean, like, they're just the longest blooming flax that I know of oh, on that's the market. Fantastic. And, you know, it's really pretty. It is. That bright pink center is cute. And I am a pink girl. You so. are a pink girl. So there you go. <laughs> so it's you need them in your garden. I need these. <laughs> yes. I don't think they're going to look as good no, as this. Oh, but... well, they will. They will. They're a good one. Now, Bermuda, what, is this Bermuda Beach? It is. Oh, that is a fun color, isn't it's it? So it's just this. Pretty. Like, is it pink? Is it coral? I'm not sure, but. No, I need you, it. This is the improved version, right? I I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know there so, was an improved version. So this is the improved version of Bermuda Beach. Okay. And um, are you noticed? Well, I've never had it before. Oh, this okay. is my first year having Bermuda okay. Beach. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I had Bermuda Beach a couple years ago, and mm. loved it, and thought, oh, this is such a good plant. Yeah. And then they came out with an improved version, and, and I'm like, like why? Hey, <laughs> if I <laughs> loved it the first time, I'll love it even more. Oh, it's so good. Yes. And then you have more canna. Yep. Now I have to ask you this blue one right here. Oh my gosh, right? Is what? that color not electric? It's what? just the best. I hope it comes across on camera. I know. And Sky I and I were just sitting here. Because she's growing this from seed too. Is she? Yeah. She's amazing. Sky okay. from Hamilton House Designs. So this one is cheer blue. Oh. And it is, I always called it butterfly delphinium. Now this says grandiflorum, mm -hmm. so that might just be like the I think that's what name. Sky called it too, okay. butterfly delphinium. Butterfly delphinium. Yeah. And I've never had it come back for me, like really? in the ground. Okay. Um, but I haven't with very much with my regular delphiniums either. Yeah. And now these are almost done, but they're just solid purple on both sides and they just keep going and they always come back. Aww. So I'm hoping maybe Maybe they'll come back. Maybe, even if a couple do. <laughs> this is this is going on my list for sure. Um, like oh, I am growing these in my garden. Too. I don't care how long it takes. Yep. I am doing it. And I'm anxious to see how long they keep going. Because right. I keep deadheading them. Oh you do? I do. Cause you'll notice like one whole stock, like this stock right here will be done. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah. um so it's just and so you yeah. take it so off so they keep going. And I'm like, okay, because you can see all down in here. Mm -hmm. More just keep coming. Right. So that's fun. Oh, it's just mm -hmm. pretty. Yes. Are these hollyhocks? They are hollyhocks. They're a shorter variety. I was going to say, how are they so I know. short? No, they're a shorter variety. They're a dwarf they're... variety? Like, did you buy them as a dwarf variety? I don't. I. I just looked at the tag and like, how tall do they get? Because where do I put them? Look Long at tag. This, you guys. Do they have a tag oh, in there? So, and do you see all the pollinators? Can you guys see them flying mm -hmm. around? I just broke one off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking for a tag. These are so pretty. Yes, oh, they're, they're so, so fun. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> so, so, I already asked you your good. favorite annual. What's your favorite across-the-board plant? Um, butterfly weed. They're so cute. I love, love it. Butterfly what weed. an interesting plant to be I your know, favorite plant. Right? Especially that it has the name weed. I know. I, I know. know. <laughs> I should learn how to say the botanical name. No. Esclespia or something no, like that. No, I can't say or it. Or milkweed, but like it's I just butterfly say weed. It. And it's so vibrant. It's so good. It, it is. is. So and it's just got such fun purpose for me that when I find all the caterpillars on it. Yes, right. And I think, oh, I'm growing butterflies. You're so good. <laughs> Good. So uh, that type of butterfly weed is not the right kind for our type of monarch. So if okay. any of you are, are thinking about growing it like in California, like on the West really? Coast, it's a totally different kind oh. of milkweed that we have to grow wow. for, for the monarchs that we yeah, have. Yeah, okay. But for your monarchs, right, they, they like grow, that. They like that. But we can still grow it because it looks pretty. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So our Nothing butterfly weed wrong with that. is really, really tall. I'm kind of lanky. Said, yes. No, I know the kind you Do have. You? I have some. Do I you? I bought it for the first time this year. Show me. But I don't queen. think that it comes back for us. Yeah. 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 And it's a, I don't know, it's a hard plant. Okay. I'm having trouble with it. Are you? It's not like yours that just receives everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to clean oh, out your strawberries. Yes. There's oh. lots in there. Do you, oh. can you grow strawberries? Yes. Sure. Yes. Very well. Okay. Because. 
Yeah, these are the fun ones from Proven Winners. They're they always beautiful. have the flowers with them. So. They're so pretty. I actually thought okay. these were actually flowers. Okay. And then I looked closer and was like, oh, no, no. Those yes. are the strawberries. And Gracie loves a good strawberry. Oh, I was just going to say. She always has her nose dug in there. I don't have any strawberries <laughs> because my dog eats Because your dog eats them. All of them. Yes, I know. And you know what? But That's it's fine. Okay. You can eat them. <laughs> Well, Tracy, yes. thank you so oh, much. You are just fun. so wonderful. I appreciate you having us here. Well, I appreciate you having me. Oh. This is an honor to be asked to tour the <laughs> garden. You. All right, everyone. So that is going to be it. I told you this was going to be such a good video. Awesome. So make sure, I'm, I'm sure you all are following Tracy on, on Instagram, <laughs> Plaid and Poppies. If you're not, I will definitely link her down below. I will link your website. Your okay. website is so wonderful too. Well, like you. really, really great. Um, so I appreciate you having us. Absolutely. You're so great. You come anytime. Oh, thank it's you. Come to my house and give me color cues and all that. <laughs> Which I know you're just going to be like everything. Everything. Every Put single color. Put it in. <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. Yeah.